Daddy B. Hey, welcome to another studio vlog. In this one today, I'm actually going to be switching out the desk that I have here. This is a desk that I have from Flexi Spot, and I love it. And I'm going to put this desk over here and give this one to Nick so he can have an extra desk in his office. And this one is going to be replaced by another one that Flexi Spot is gifting to me. If you've seen this one, it just has, sorry, that's my recycling, it's full. But if you've seen this one, it just has like the up and down arrow so that you can adjust the height, but you can't save any of the heights that you have. You just have to like guesstimate where you usually like to set it. And they sent me a newer version that I can actually set my preferred heights. So then you just press the button and it automatically goes to your height. And it's actually a maple top, so I thought it would go really well with these browns here. So I'm going to have Nick help me do that a little bit later, and I'm super excited. Say hi to Chico. I just vacuumed and picked everything off of the ground, so he shouldn't have anything to eat like he usually does. Come here, bud. Come say hi. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hi, buddy. A good boy. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing a little bit later. Um, I went to Michael's again because last time I forgot to get my heat resistant tape that I usually like using from Cricut for the sublimation mugs. So this is the one that I usually get just as Cricut heat resistant tape compatible with infusible ink. So that's my favorite one to use. And while I was there, I saw this sans serif set from Impress Art, the one and a half millimeter. And if you guys are wondering what size I use, that's the size I use. I use one and a half millimeter sans serif from Impress Art. But the thing is that I bought that set a really long time ago and it worked perfectly and then when I tried to buy a second set just so I could have two because I used to travel with my stamping machine a lot and go to my parents with it I wanted to just leave one set there just in case but the quality got really bad the length of all of the stamps were all different so if you use a stamping machine that's kind of a struggle because on the stamping machine you set the strength that you want or like the pressure setting that you want and if all of the stamps are not the same length then they're all going to press into the metal at different depths but I was checking this one out and it actually looks pretty even so I'm going to be testing this out and that would be nice because I feel like I've used mine for so long that eventually they might get dull on me and I want my stamping to look as clear as possible so hopefully that set works <laughs> and people always ask me like don't you need stronger stamps for harder metals like stainless steel like the steel quality stamps but with my stamping machine it doesn't seem to really matter what kind of strength stamp you use like these are like the basic cheapest stamp options that they have for impress art so these work perfectly fine I've been using them for like four or five years now and then I also got a little hand punch because I'm still undecided if I want to punch holes or not in my earring cards to hang them on my pegboard over here. So we'll see. It was only a couple bucks, so I thought it would be handy to have. So yeah, that was my little haul. But before we set up the desk, I wanted to try a TikTok hack for cleaning the Cricut cutting mats. Um, this one's gotten pretty dirty and it's fallen on the ground, so I'm pretty sure it has like dog hair on it. And this one's usually the one that I use all the time. That's pretty dirty. But anyways, the TikTok hack was to spray it with glass cleaner or a Windex and then just let it sit for a few minutes and then scrape it off with either a credit card or the Cricut scraper. So 
I have my Cricut scraper here. So I'm going to see how that works. I've seen a bunch of different methods. They will wash it with the Dawn soap in the sink. They'll use a, a magic eraser. They'll use alcohol. So it seems there's a bunch of different methods to clean the Cricut mats if they're really dirty or not sticky anymore. But this one's the one I'm going to try because I've never done it before. But if you have a preferred method, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll try that one out next time if this doesn't work. <laughs> so yeah, let's see how it works. I'm gonna let that sit for a couple minutes. That actually looks pretty clean. Okay, I'm just gonna rinse this off and let it air dry, and we'll see how sticky it is after. Okay, it's dry now. I actually blow dried it <laughs> because I saw one TikTok that said the faster it dries, the stickier it'll be. I don't know if that's true, but this is the light grip sticky, so I don't know how sticky it'll be, but seems pretty sticky for light grip. I think that'll do. Hey, that worked pretty well. Okay, Nick has a quick break from work now, so I'm just gonna clear off this desk so we can get it out of the way and start building the new desk. Okay, I got the stamping desk all cleared out so that we can get it out of here, but Nick is procrastinating by playing piano, so let's wait for him. <laughs> Eddie procrastinating, yeah. Yes. <laughs>
So the desk that I had before is this one from Flexi Spot. <laughs> Bless you. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, you helping Daddy read? <laughs> so the desk that I had before from Flexi Spot is <laughs> take three. <laughs> now you're sniffling. <laughs> So the desk that I had before, Ow. oh my god, Ow. what happened? My oh my god. Take four. Okay, so the desk that I had first from Flexi Spot is this one, the Vicky desk. It just has the up and down arrows, no drawer. I think it comes in black and in white and I picked the white just because the majority of my stuff is white. But this one that they gifted me this time is called the Kamhar All-in-One Standing Desk. And as you can see here, it has multiple buttons so I'm able to create presets for the heights that I like. It also has some USB ports for charging, so that's really nice, and it comes with a drawer. And this one comes in white, black, and maple, so I really liked this maple color, so that's the one that I chose this time, just so that it would look good with all these warm tones over here. <laughs> you made it bad. Tall for me, so I'm gonna set the standing height. Let me see, let me grab my laptop. Okay, so I'm gonna set this as my standing height. So to do that, you just hold down the number that you want to be that preset for three seconds. Okay, let's see if that worked. Okay, so if I press four, it should go to that height. Cool, I did it. Now let's set the sitting height. Okay, this seems good. So I'm going to use number one for this height. Okay, so let's test that one. Let me go to a random height. Press one. about two and three. I don't know what to do with two and three. Shiko and Nyla. <laughs> For Shiko, Shiko height and Nyla height. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could probably do your height. You want to do yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll figure out what to use two and three for another day. Okay, I'm just gonna put my stuff back on it. It even has USB-C, so I can charge my phone.
I'm going to test on some scrap pieces first. These are just blanks that have scratches or dents on them, so. Let's see, I'll stamp the same word with both. So let me just stamp the word testing, I guess. You guys have no idea how long I've been checking these sets at Michael's like every time I go and they just always look like crap but this is the first time that they actually look pretty good so hopefully it works because I really want a backup set It's like they lost definition in their letters, like whatever mold they're using to make these. And Gosh, it's so chaotic outside. What is going on? The E's kind of wants me. I'm going to test the E's next to each other and the I's. So... Good E. Bad E. And then the eyes kind of sucked. I. Good E. I mean, good I. E Spanish. Good I. Let me show you. Okay, so that first testing. So this first testing is what I did with my OG stamping set that I've been using for years. This is the second set that I just bought. So I did the E's next to each other so you can see the difference, but the E looks very curved on the bottom left. Like, it doesn't look as defined, right? The E on the old set looks nicer. And then the I, this is this is so shiny, it's like impossible to show you guys. But the I on the left is my old set. It just looks a lot more defined. There's actually like, like a dot closer to the top of the second I. So, it's not horrible. But... It's like I'm never going to find a set as good as that first set that I bought years ago. If any of you guys know where I can buy my own custom set of letters that basically look like these and is one and a half millimeters, please let me know because I know I'm not going to be able to use this set forever. <laughs> Even the G. The G looks like so bumpy on that one, right? But looks good here. I don't know. What's up, Impress Art? Why is your quality getting so bad? Your stamps were actually good, like, five years ago. <laughs>
So we were about to have some fun outside, having the dogs play in a little kiddie pool that Nick bought, but apparently it is a little too little. <laughs> Chico, Chico, get in here. Get inside. Get inside. <laughs> this is basically a water bowl for Chico. <laughs> Babe, do you not look at dimensions? Chico, come inside. Come inside. Look. Come inside. Oh, hi. <laughs> 